Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my May favorite. Let's jump right into it. Uh, the first product I'm going to be talking about is the Clinique Super Primer Color Corrects Redness. It's a lightweight, oil-free primer, cover color corrects redness for a neutral, even stripe. Um, I'm going to show you guys the texture of this. It's very similar to the Benefit Pore Freshenal. It has a thick consistency and it blends out very easily. The only reason I like this is because of its color, its yellow base. I usually apply this in my T-zone where I will be applying highlighter. So it usually helps to brighten up the area. So I've been really enjoying this primer a little bit more than the professional only because the consistency of it is very velvety and it blends out very well. Okay, so the next product is this translucent Okay, so the next product is this translucent powder I've been enjoying very much. This is the Givenchy um, translucent powder in Universal Nude and this product is very expensive. I think it's about like $53 at Sephora, but it will last you a very, very long time. It's actually a little bit will go a really, really long way. The only thing you need this for is after you do your foundation and everything, you can set your entire face with this. And because it's translucent, it's not going to change the color of your foundation or any of that. And it's so soft and velvety. It comes in the packaging. I don't know how I feel about the packaging, only because as you guys can see, the powder does, you do waste a lot of product and it comes with a pad like this so what i usually don't use this pad but i mean you can use this pad just to pat um <coughs> areas in your t-zone where you get oily and stuff so i usually like to keep this in my purse as like a travel um instead of using blo the oil blotting pads and everything i usually prefer this one and i also use this right after i do my foundation concealer high um contouring and everything I put this over all of that as my last layer so I do really 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 re like this product and I wouldn't recommend it for the price if I didn't really believe it was worth it so this stuff does go a long long way you need the smallest amount and it leaves your it leaves your face like um, it makes your face look like airbrush basically it looks beautiful and it has a really really good velvety consistency and the next product, okay, because it's the summertime finally here, I've been enjoying more tinted moisturizers, BB creams, rather than a heavy coverage um, foundation, only because my skin is very oily and everything melts off my skin. And it's like, it just makes my face look so muddy and disgusting at the end of the day. So I've been really liking this Clinique Moisture Surge Tinted Moisturizer. And it has a SPF, so this is great for a daytime moisture, um, tinted moisturizer. It has a very thin uh, consistency. It says it's 100% fragrance free, sheer, uh, sheer hydrating coverage, natural finish. So I do agree with that. It does give you a very natural finish to your skin. Um, what I do is I usually use this as a, my um, moisturizer and then I put the Givenchy translucent powder right on top of it. And my, and my skin does stay matte and flawless throughout the entire day. Without, like, maybe I might have to do one or two touch ups, but not much. It does stay very well. Okay, so the next product is a bronzer. I've been really liking this Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in 022 Sun Bronze. And I really like this because it's waterproof. So I do use this when we go to the beach or going out um, where you know you're going to be in the water. Or you might have um, water touch your skin and stuff. So I do really like this product. It's a matte bronzer, which I love the most. And it's very similar to the Smashbox um, bronzer I don't know what the exact name of it but it's very similar to that one um, it has it's not too warm and orangey it's kind of neutral and the texture of it is very very soft let's see if I can get you it's a good swatch so it's quite velvety it's quite smooth I really like the texture and the color is what gets me the most it just looks like you've been bathing in the Sun all day it doesn't look cakey it doesn't have any shimmer which is the best part because you guys know I don't like any shimmer on my face so yeah, this is that product. I have two blushes to talk about. The first one is from Kiko, uh, and this one is in 110 Soft Touch Blush Silky Smooth Blush. That's what it says. But this is in 110, and you guys can see it's like a baby pink. It's a very bright pink, but it's not too pigmented, which is what I like about it. And you guys can build it up, and every time I wanna go for like a pink look, I will reach for this one, or this Tarte Blush, which is a 12-hour, 12 hour blush uh, Amazonian clay and this is the color blushing bright what I like about more than what I like about this more than anything is the color it's such a pretty color it looks like you're blushing from within so let me show you guys I think I've talked about this in my previous video 
and this product will last you a very very long time it's also not too pigmented so it's easy to work with because you guys can um, you guys can build up the product according to your liking so it's very um, buildable and the color you guys the color is like it just literally matches the name of it blushing bride it looks very very youthful very natural and I love this color okay so the next product I'm going to be talking about are these um, two brow gels the ones I've been using a lot are the L'Oreal brow stylist plumpers um, the two I have here one is a tra uh, one's a transparent like clear brow gel this one's a tinted one in medium to dark and I've been reaching for this a lot more than the clear one only because this one has fibers in it so when I ha when I'm in a hurry to do my brows and I haven't filled them in properly I'll just go over it, two coats of this and it just fills in all the sparse areas and makes life so much easier but this one I gravitate towards when when I've like nicely groomed my brows and my brows um, are like shaped well and I've like filled them in properly and I've taken my time to do them then I'll reach for this one because I don't really want to add too much more um, color and stuff to them so I'll reach for this clear one uh, the next is this I only have one brush to talk about and this one is the NARS ITA brush um, it looks just like this and I've been really enjoying this because my cheekbones are not too prominent so I would always have a hard time contouring but ever since I've gotten my hands on this brush it's been very easy all I do is like a duck face or like a fishy face and I'll just uh, push the contour into my uh, cheekbones and then blend it out very well with a different brush only because this will give you a very harsh contour so you don't want to look like you don't want to make yourself look like costume makeup and stuff so I do use this and I'll go over it with like a buffing brush and buff all the contour out so the next thing is um, a lip scrub I've been really into exfoli ex exfoliating my lips recently and I've been really liking this um, Tarte Mar Maracuja lip exfoliator and um, the stuff is Okay, so this, I don't really like the smell of it because it has like a very pepperminty like smell and like when you apply it on your lips, obviously you're going to taste a little bit of it. So I don't really like the taste and the smell of it. It's quite pepperminty and I just using, I've been using this actually every other day basically to exfoliate my lips thoroughly because my lips are quite like choppy and dry. So I, before I apply lipstick and stuff, I've been going over, I've been exfoliating my lips and then applying a uh, chapstick over it and then going over with my lipstick and stuff. So I really, really like this um, lip scrub and it makes your um, lips quite like plump and it brings out like a rosy tint to them. So I really like this um, lip scrub. Uh, the next is this two, it's like a duo from Kiko. One of them, this is the mascara and this is the treatment. So this is a 30 day extension treatment. I've been using this at night quite a lot. And I started using this after I got uh, eyelash extensions and a lot of my eyelashes like kind of like pulled off when the lady was trying to take them off and stuff. So um, since I felt like I needed something, I've been, I didn't reach for the Revita Lash because I wanted to try this first. So this is the 30 day extensions night treatment booster from Kiko and I've been using this for about two months actually and it did work actually my lashes did get longer they've been looking fuller they're quite strong like even when I like uh, curl my eyelashes and so sometimes one or two would always fall out but now they don't and this is like a great 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 cheaper alternative to the Vita lash and the next is the mascara for it so I really like this mascara for the daytime because of its brush thins and separates my lashes quite well it doesn't clump up and it's great for the lower lash line and the upper lash line so this is what I use when I'm in like a rush the other mascara I use on like you know on special occasions is this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite Daring Length and Volume Mascara and I really like this mascara also because of its brush it's quite lengthening it separates all my lashes and I do two coats of this and it just makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes when I'm really not and I'm not a fan of false lashes, so I do really like the mascara. And the eyeliner I've been using a lot this month is the Makeup Forever uh, Ink Liner. And I do really, really like the formula of this uh, eyeliner. I'll show you guys. It's very black and it's um, matte as well, which I really like about it. So even if you put this over a shimmery eyeshadow, it won't be like oily and greasy. And it won't like, it'll be matte. So if you guys want to see so that's just one swipe of it I really like the formula I do really like how matte it is the only thing I don't like about it is the applicator I prefer I prefer um, 
a brush applicator only because I feel like I have more control and it does all the work for me whereas this one I kind of have to do like short strokes and then connect the whole line to make it to my desired shape so I do really like the formula and the applicator is uh, okay but I do I have been reaching for this a lot this month okay so the next is I think we're almost done um, oh this MAC pencil okay so this MAC pencil is the um, I Cole crayon cole in Costa Rica and I've been really really enjoying this pencil because it has like a reddish brown sure you can okay so that's the color on top and I've been putting this on my waterline and this like this honestly is great for people that have brown eyes I have brown eyes I'm just wearing contacts right now but I really like this um, I cold because it's not black so it's not too dramatic and harsh and it's just a brown soft color I can put in my water liner and my tight line and it just looks great it makes my um, brown eyes pop the two lip products I have one is um, a lip liner which is from Urban Decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil and manic so I'm going to show you the color so that's the color right there it's like a mauvey pink like yeah like a mauvey pink maybe a little bit of brown undertones but it's quite a nice um, lip liner and what I like about it is because it's like it doesn't say it's waterproof but it is basically waterproof because it does not budge it's like super glue you you like feel it stick on your lip it's quite um, a drying as well so what you need to do you can't just uh, wear this by itself you have to put like a lip balm or chapstick or lip gloss on top of it what I've been putting on top of it is this Lorac Pro, uh, Lorac Pro matte pencil um, what is this matte lip color in mauve the color is in mauve and I'm going to show you guys it's very similar to the lip liner so I've been matching these two together The top one is the Lorac Pro Pencil and this is like a lipstick and I really like it because it's quite compact. I can just chuck it in my purse and take it to go and both of these together leave my lips. Okay, so as you can see right now, this is what I have on right now. So what I do on top of this is I do put like a chapstick instead of a lip gloss because I don't like my lips too glossy. I put a chapstick on top just so I have a little bit of hydration and you know my lips aren't like the lines and my lips don't show and it's not drying so I think that's all the products for t for this month oh okay one more thing I um okay so recently I've been using this um Mario Badescu skin care drying lotion and this is great for people that have acne skin because it's a, I've tried many drying lotions but this one actually works so the way you're supposed to use this you're supposed to take a cotton tip and the solution in it is separated you see the pink on the bottom and the clear solution on top you're not supposed to mix it you're just supposed to take your q-tip dip it into the pink um, pink solution um, on the bottom and just dab it where you ha where you see a pimple coming or where you already have a pimple or maybe after you popped it whatever you guys want if you want it to disappear by like the next two days use this I'm telling you this stuff works really really well it just dries out the entire pimple and stuff and doesn't leave a mark or anything which is great so I've been using that a lot so that's all the favorites for this month I hope you guys like this video if you guys have any favorites please leave it down below share with all of us and I hope to see you guys next time